हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल आई होप यू आर डूइंग एक्सट्रीमली फाइन माई नेम इज प्रिंस एंड यू आर वॉचिंग द टेक्स ट्रीम इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू गिव यू एन इन डेप्थ रिव्यू ऑफ ऑक्सीजन ओ एस ट्वेल्व सेकेंड स्टेबल अपडेट फॉर द वन प्लस एट सीरीज डिवाइस आई एल ऑल्सो एड्रेस ऑल द बर्ग्स एंड प्रॉब्लम विद दिस बिल्ड सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी मोर टाइम लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड इफ यू गो इन टू द अबाउट इन्फो सेक्शन यू कैन सी दैट द बिल्ड नंबर इज सी डॉट वन फाइव विच इज ऑक्सीजन ओ एस ट्वेल्व सेकेंड स्टेबल बिल्ड दिस बिल्ड वॉज रिलीज ऑलमोस्ट अ वीक अगो एंड सिंस देन आई बिन यूजिंग इट ऑन माई वन प्लस एट टी and my overall experience has been really positive except for some small issues so the first thing is that the notification issue which was there on all previous builds since the release of oxygen os 12 has now been fixed you receive notifications from gmail telegram and all other apps without any issues and because of this reason the build is very much usable now earlier i had to manually open gmail or telegram to receive notifications but it is fixed now now let's talk about the battery life as many users commented on my previous video that the battery drain has increased tremendously but honestly i have not faced any issues regarding the battery life on my oneplus 8t in fact the battery backup has been great for me and i am easily getting 6 to 7 hours of screen on time with this build and also as you can see i have no battery drain from the quick connect app which many users has been facing the main reason i did not face this problem is that i did a clean install which means that after installing this build i formatted all the data on my phone and this is what i suggested to all the other users also who are facing this problem if you can't do a clean install then you will have to wait for the next update now let's talk about the charging speed a lot of users shared that the charging speed has been reduced but i think that is not the case i did a full 1 to 100% battery charging test with aod on and with 40 degree temperature in my surroundings and both the times the device charged in less than 50 minutes The advertised time from OnePlus is 39 minutes. Given that my device is one and half year old and with such humid temperature, I think the charging speeds are fine. Moving on, the device started heating up a lot more with this build, and even the device started jittering and lagging sometimes without any gaming. I mean, it doesn't happen every time, but there is some heating issue with this build, which was not there in previous builds. The fingerprint unlock and face unlock work without any issues, and they are as fast as they were on Oxygen OS 11. The same goes for the camera application. No improvements have been done to the camera app, and the camera performance is exactly the same as it was on Oxygen OS 11. Now let's talk about the finicky gaming situation. In BGMI, you can select 90 FPS from the settings on the 8 series devices, but as you can see in the FPS meter, the game is only capped to 60 FPS, and there is no way to enable 90 FPS in Oxygen OS. 12 as of now another problem is that the device doesn't even give full 60 fps for some reason it just hovers around 45 to 55 fps which is really bad for a flagship device i mean this is not even playable now i would suggest you to roll back to oxygen os 11 or install a custom rom if you want to enjoy 90 fps gaming so those were all the issues and problems that i am facing with this build overall the performance has been good and oxygen os 12 is usable now i just hope they fix the gaming issues with the coming builds if you are facing any other issues i will suggest you to clean install this build that will fix most of your problems if you can't do a clean install then waiting for the next update is the only option that's all for this video comment down if you are facing any other issues on oxygen os 12 subscribe to the channel for more tech videos thank you for watching